All right, at the moment uh, with me is uh, advocate Hari, Sh uh, Hari Shankar Jain. Hari Shankar Jain has been closely associated with the Gyanwapi Gauri Shringar temple disputed case, which has been going on for far too long in the Varanasi district court. Thank you for joining us, advocate Hari Shankar Jain. And my first question to you about uh, how is it that the ASI survey report is going to impact uh, the case hearings in court now. Okay. In any case, if you want to prove any fact, the expert opinion can be filed. And the expert opinion is a piece of evidence. And then the SI report will have been filed. Then it will be proved in the court in, court, in accordance with law. Then it will be a piece of evidence on the basis of which court can form its finding and opinion. Okay. Uh, this, indeed. Okay. Uh, uh, why do you think there had been so much resistance and opposition to begin with when a plea had been filed that an ASI survey be conducted on the disputed site? Because there is very uh, clear that the party who wants to suppress any fact, the party does not want the fact to come out. Like a culprit who hides everything of the offence. In the same manner, the Muslim community offender, they have committed an offence and they want the truth should not come out. And that is why from the very beginning they were opposing the SI survey and from trial court to Supreme Court they fought that they know there should be no survey. Even the report has been filed, they filed an application that it should not be made public. The only intention is the truth may not come out. The Muslims know that the real, what is the real fact. They know that Aurangzeb was the person, was the ruler, who is known as a cruel ruler, a barbier act, a committed barbier act, and he demanded the temple. Like other Islamic rulers who committed that uh, barbarian act in the past. <laughs> <laughs> right now, now, now the, you know this this uh, this row that had erupted, and it took some time because it reached the Supreme Court, where the Supreme Court then allowed for the ASI survey to be conducted. The report is now out. Out. The contention that had been given by the Muslim side was the uh, the archaeological survey may end up disturbing or destroying the mosque in the process of conducting its survey. There was an effort to show that any excavation takes place, then it may damage the building. Court said no, you will not uh, carry out excavation and are digging in, in any manner. So that was stated, but GPS survey was allowed and other scientific method that, is also, that was also allowed by order dated 4th August. And this ASI abiding by the order of the Supreme Court, fully fulfilling the conditions what were laid down by the Supreme Court in its order dated 4th August conducted the survey and found a number of artifacts, more than 32 inscriptions, which are on the visible on the walls. The pillar of the old temple, which have been used for the construction of the present building, and more so the western wall of the building, which is, which is found, which has been found to be more than 5,000 years old. So that all these things established okay. That it was a Hindu temple, and after demolishing the original temple, the present construction has been raised. Yeah. Ji. Also, you, you know, when uh, we've gotten this exclusive copy of uh, the ASI report, the survey report that has now been shared by both the sides, it's been made public now, NewsX being the first one to get this copy. And we have, uh, you know, extracted uh, a few of these important highlighted figurines and columns, objects that have been found. And a uh, number of these objects include, uh, there is a shivaling, there are Ganesha seals, there are coins that have been found from the 17th century. There is a figurine, a broken figurine of Nandi. Uh, there is a bro broken figurine uh, of an elephant. Uh, there, are, there are a number of Hindu motifs, religious motifs that have been carved on the on the on the rocks and on the sandstone on it with, with which these these figurines that have been built so does this give more credence and makes the argument of the hindu side petitioner council stronger when they put forth their case in front of the varanasi district court on the 6th of feb 
They can only wear from very beginning in the suit as well as in other arguments. We were, we were submitting that uh, there are a number of artifacts of Hindu temple and for that purpose, and that is a Hindu temple which was demolished by the Dijan uh, ruler that said by Aurangzeb. That is why we filed application. And we are sure that this thing, all these things will be proved and will come out. And everything will be before the court. And for this purpose, we demanded for survey. And I, I repeat, the survey was opposed only for, so the, only for the purpose to hide the truth. Now I will tell you one thing more. The only objection which is being raised, I will be raised, like Mr. Ovesi, who said that the report is not impartial. They were, uh, they were under the influence of Hindutva. <laughs> I, I will tell you that there were two learned professors of Muslim community in the in the committee constituted by SI. And all of them have conducted. Ifan Aviv, a Muslim historian, he has himself written and admitted the fact that it was the temple of Lord Shiva which was demanded by Aurangzeb. Okay, uh, now, now how, how confident are you that uh, the Varanasi District Court is going to announce the judgment, announce the verdict in favour of the Hindu side after this revelation that has been made by the ASI? No, I may uh, tell you that I am sure that ultimately I will win. Ultimately, the suit will be decreed and the present structure of mask that will be, that will be ordered to be demolished. That is one thing. But it will take time, it will take some time in the legal journey. Not that on the basis of only report, court will pass the order. Court will invite objection. Both the parties are free to file their objection. And then in accordance with order 26, rule 10 of CPC, court will confirm or reject the report. If it confirms the report, then it will be subject to evidence. And the evidence will be led by the parties, the SI and other persons person, person associated with the SI in this survey, they will be cross-examined and the court will uh, thereafter record its finding. But okay. I, I will tell you one thing, that is my demand, that uh, this uh, court procedure may take some time as on one, after one order or the other, the party will come to the Supreme Court or the High Court and it will take some time and delay the proceeding. Okay. Now, no, also, different. you know, also, I sir, talking about, uh, there is another parallel case uh, that is uh, being fought in Mathura. We are talking about the Shai Idgaj Krishna Janmabhumi uh, dispute that has been carrying on for quite some time now. Uh, is there a possibility that uh, an ASI survey will be demanded uh, by, the, by the court, as per the court orders, to find out uh, 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 you know, archaeological, scientific evidence of uh, whether there was a temple uh, that was uh, uh, th that was destroyed, that was demolished, uh, and on the yes. ruins of which there was a shai, there was shai idga that had been established. The Mathura suit that is regarding the birthplace of Lord Sri Krishna was filed on 25th September 2020. And in the last three years, one, uh, one reason or the other, court, uh, court could not proceed much. Now the matter is before the Honorable Supreme Court. And Supreme, uh, Supreme Court has stated the order passed by Honorable High Court for the, and so far as the Advocate Commission report, for conducting Advocate Commission report. So this will be seen, and the matter is pending before the Honorable Supreme Court, and trial is being held by the Honorable High Court under the orders of the Supreme Court. So it will take some time. And what steps I will take, I am not disclosing at present. But one thing I can tell you, that it will be proved in Mathura case also, that after demolishing Hindu temple, the under the order of Aurangzeb, the, the so-called mosque was constructed, and it has to be removed. And today or tomorrow, that suit is liable to be decreed, and we will construct the glorious temple there. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Advocate Hari Shankar Jain, for joining us on the telecast, sharing your views on this very big landmark development yeah. that has taken place in the case.
For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.